Good morning, everyone. If you've been trying to figure out a way to use your iPhone or your iPad with your MacBook to screen share for instruction or just to do something a little bit different and exciting, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. To get started, you're going to need your Mac laptop, your iPad, and or iPhone. And last, you need the charging cable that you'll use to charge your device. Before using your iPad in a screen share, I think it's really important that you take the time to go to your control center and use the do not disturb button. I'm gonna click this, it'll turn purple and that means do not disturb is turned on. This will prevent any messages from being displayed on my iPad while I might be sharing it during a lesson. I'm gonna plug my charging cable into my iPad. And then I'm gonna take the USB cable I'm gonna plug it into my computer. My computer happens to not have a, a space where I can plug a USB in, so I have an adapter, but you shouldn't need one for your EPIC laptop. So I'm gonna plug mine in. There we go. And if it's the first time you're connecting your iPad to your computer, uh, it may take a minute before it picks up. I'm looking to see if I get a message that says, do I trust this computer and does the computer trust my iPad and I haven't received that message just yet okay so um, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can find this iPad on my computer I'm gonna start by going to the finder and I'm gonna look here on the left hand side for all of the devices connected to my computer one of them happens to be Mrs. Belbeer so I'm gonna click on it and notice that I have to trust the iPad right so to sync this computer with your iPad, click trust, then tap trust on the device. So I'll click trust. And then notice I get the message here on my iPad. So I wanna make sure that I trust. Okay. So now I have trusted the device on my iPad and the computer. And on the computer, it's just loading my device right now. I don't really wanna sync it. There we go. Um, it looks perfect to me. So now that they trust each other, I can go ahead and close out of this on my computer and place my iPad down. So I'll go to my launch pad. I'll go to my launch pad and in the search, you can type in QuickTime Player. And when you locate it, if this is something you're going to use often, you might wanna go ahead and click and drag it over here to your dock. Let's see, where do I want it? I think I want it right here. Okay, and so when you launch QuickTime, it won't look like anything special is happening. You'll want to make sure that you go up here to file and you have the option of a new movie recording, which is what we're going to use a new audio recording. Maybe you want to record something for your students and a new screen recording, which you can use to, of course, record your screen. I'm going to go to new movie recording because I happen to know that I can also view my iPad in this way. So of course, at first you see yourself. <laughs> um, but if you look down here at the record button, there is a little drop down. And so when you click the drop down, you should see the name of your iPad. My iPad happens to be named Mrs. Belbeer. And then down here, this is for the microphone, right? So I would use my microphone here, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, click Mrs. Belbeer so that now you don't see me. I'm actually going to be um, displaying my iPad here on the screen. And so if I were going to teach my students how to use a specific app that I wanted them to use for a lesson to get creative, I could go on into um, one of the apps and kind of model and teach, or of course I could record a video to show my students how to use this amazing tool. So I want you to know that we did it. We have connected our iPad to the MacBook. Um, and so again, by using the screen share feature in Microsoft Teams or Schoology conferences, your students would be able to see the iPad. And if your goal was to set this up like a document camera, the app that you would wanna focus on using would be, of course, the camera. Um, don't mind my <laughs> stableness here, but you might set it on something that would be stable. So if you did, if you did wanna set up a document camera type station, just make sure that you're being safe. I happen to have a stool underneath here. 
okay? And so what I'm gonna do is, uh, if I needed to put some manip manipulatives, if I needed to put some manipulatives here, like these delicious hot tamales, right? Um, I have a, a little kind of makeshift document camera. I'm gonna tap on my iPad screen really quick to refocus, that looks a lot better. Um, and of course you could use your iPad or iPhone as a document camera. At the end of your lesson, I would take a minute to take your, your iPhone or iPad out of the do not disturb mode, remember the uh, moon, so that you don't miss any, any important phone calls or text messages um, that might be sent your way on your device. I hope that was a useful tip for you. Um, and thank you guys again for all that you do. You are amazing and you're making a difference with your students.